Welcome to today's Rockler demo. We've got something a little different in store for you today. We've asked a special guest to stop by and we're gonna learn about pen turning. His name is Rick Hammerlin. He's a member of our tech support team. So Rick spends his normal day answering all of your woodworking questions and product questions. But he also happens to be an expert pen turner. He's turned hundreds of pens. So we've asked Rick to stop by and walk you through the basics of turning a pen. Take it away, Rick. Thanks, Dan. Uh, first thing you want to do is uh, pick out your blank, pick out your pen kit. You notice that every pen kit comes with at least one or two tubes. You want to measure that out, uh, mark that out, measure it out just about an eighth of an inch or so longer, and you're ready to cut the tube or cut the blank. All right, now that we've cut the blank to the right size, it's time to drill a hole. With this particular one, we're going to be using a 2764 inch bit. Now that the blank has been cut to length, the hole's, the hole's been put in for the tube, it's time to go uh, glue the tube inside. For that, you'll be using a CA glue, and you can or cannot, if you don't want to, use an accelerant as well. That'll speed up the process. All right, I'm gonna be using a barrel trimmer to trim the uh, blanks down to the ends of the uh, tubes so that everything is nice and straight and even. So now we're gonna mount it to the mandrel, and because this is only a one blank pen kit, we're gonna need a, a few spacers. Now you can do that with a piece of wood that you drill out a hole to, or if you happen to have a couple of more uh, uh, bushings, you can, you can put them on there just to make up the space. And then tighten this down, slip it in there. Now one thing I should mention, you don't need a really expensive lathe to turn pens or pretty much anything, anything small. Uh, this is the uh, Rockler Excelsior Mini Lathe. Costs a few hundred bucks, get you started. So next one you want to just kind of adjust this corner there so it's about in the middle. Bring your, tail or bring your uh, tool rest in. Bring it up just under halfway there because of the thickness of the uh, tools we'll be using. Bring this uh, banjo in nice and tight, close, and you're all set. All right, the type of uh, blank that I used is a stabilized maple burl. These are actually pretty easy to turn because of the fact that they've got a stabilizing kind of a plastic inside of it or embedded impregnated into it so that it does cut smoothly, it does finish smoothly. Uh, the tools I'm using is a, a round uh, Rockler full-size ergonomic uh, carbide tip blade. Uh, the carbide tips are, are great for the, for the people new to turning because it doesn't require any sharpening. You just loosen the tip a little bit, give it a turn, and you're back to a fresh blade again. When the tip is used up, you can throw it out and get a new tip. Now I'm gonna switch over to a, uh, a different blade now. It's a uh, carbide still. Uh, but it's a radius square. It's got just a slight round to it so that the corners don't catch on your project. All right, now we're gonna move on to sanding. So the first step uh, in sanding, you wanna, you wanna get the uh, banjo out of your way and the tool rest. So just pop that tool rest out of there so you got a nice clean access to it. And I'm gonna start this off at about 320 grit. It was pretty smooth uh, coming off the tool. Okay, the next part to the uh, process applying a finish. Now with the uh, finish applied to it, we can remove it from the lathe and the mandrel and start assembling. Most of our pen kits are gonna come with several different parts on it. Uh, this particular one is the Manhattan. It's got a uh, end cap, it's got the mechanism, the inkwell and a spring, and the tip. Uh, for this step, I'm gonna be using the uh, Rockler pen press. This is also the same press that I use to drill the holes in the center of the uh, blank uh, with, on the bandsaw. First part. Put the clip on the back or the uh, tip on the back. Now 
Now for the other parts, simply want to slip this into here with the spring on there. Bring this together, make sure that seat's in there. Screw that on there. Give it a test turn. Just like that. Thanks, Rick. So as you can see, pen turning is a great way to get into wood turning. And it's a fun project if you're already an experienced wood turner. You don't need a lot of space. You only need a small lathe and it's fast. You can turn a pen in like 15 minutes. Now Rockler sells over 100 different pen kits and another 100 different types of blanks, wood species, acrylics. So your opportunities to mix and match and be creative are nearly endless. And if you're just getting started and you're not sure, we sell a starter kit that includes everything you need to turn your first couple of pens. Just remember, whatever kit you're purchasing, Look at the description online and the instructions to be sure you're getting all the accessories you need if there are special bushings or a drill bit. That'll save you a lot of hassle. I hope you've enjoyed this introduction to wood turning. I'm Dan Carey from Rockland Woodworkers Journal. Thanks for watching. For more woodworking tips, projects, and demos, check out rockler.com slash learn, rockler.com slash free dash plans, and woodworkersjournal.com.